After months of waiting, it's finally here. The Xiaomi Roborock Robot Vacuum. This is the second generation Xiaomi robot. And I'm gonna be doing an unboxing and show you the different features of this robot. And later on, we'll be doing a cleaning test. So let's get started. Okay, let's see what's inside the box. First thing you'll, you'll get is this plastic cover I'm not sure what this is for I'll just take off the plastic and we'll find out this is some sort of plastic cover next you'll get this English manual yeah, to give you a close close-up view it's, it shows you the different features of this robot and how to use it. It's in English, so you won't have any trouble reading it. And let's take off this box. And this box here has the mop attachment. The first generation Xiaomi did not have any mop included. So this is a additional feature that that's an improvement over the previous Xiaomi. And it has two it comes with two microfiber mops. And let's see what's inside this box. Okay. I think these are let me just try to read this these are filters for the water tank it has four extra filters for the water tank and this is the robot let me just take this out of the box and see how it looks like I'll do a comparison between th this and the old Xiaomi robot and see how different it is. You'll notice immediately that it has a different layout. The laser sensor is moved more closer to the middle. Three buttons on top. Um, and the bin is here on the front of the laser sensor. and. And, and this is a nice feature that I like the cleaning brush is stored inside here under the under this door and this is the new dustbin it's almost as big as the old dustbin and this is the cleaning brush and the and a cutting and a cutter here there's a blade inside that helps um, cut off hair that, that may be wrapped around that may be wrapped around the the motorized brush and then a new feature that you may like would be the washable filter the first generation Xiaomi did not have any washable filter you, once the filter is dirty you'd have to replace it once it's clogged you replace it immediately this one you can still wash a few a few times before before replacing it so it, it extends the the lifespan of the of the of the filter so it saves you some money underneath it has the same layout as the old Xiaomi, a single 
single beater bar here, one beater bar, and one side brush. Let's just look at the motorized brush, see how it looks like. It has the same design as the old Xiaomi. And when you compare it to the old brush, it's basically the same. These two are the same brushes. So it will have, I think this will have the same performance as the old Xiaomi. We'll find out in another video where, where, where I'll compare both of this. So let's put this back. Four drop sensors here up front, caster wheel, rubberized reel, wheels flanking the motorized brush. Let's check what else is inside the box. Okay, these, oh, Xiaomi in includes, they included an extra filter which is nice. And this is the plug for the charging station. This is the new charging station which is a lot narrower than the original Xiaomi. Let's just take off the plastic and show you guys how this charging base looks like. It's a lot narrower. The original Xiaomi had a wider charging base. This is a lot narrower so there's some space savings for with this. Let's see what else we got here inside the box. I guess that's everything. So now I'll just charge this robot and let's go over the other features later on. Okay, let's have a look at the mopping attachment. This is something new with the second generation Xiaomi. The first generation did not have this feature. So it has a gray microfiber towel here at the bottom and a one wheel here that helps reduce drag so to, to extend the battery life and the water is loaded through this through this opening here just pop this open we pour in water and you can use this to mop to wet mop and vacuum at the same time so i'll do a separate video for the mopping and to attach this let's see how how this is how you attach this so just flip the robot upside down and just slide this under. It, it clicks. Once it clicks, it's securely locked in place. So let's flip it over. Now let's, I'll try to remove this from the top, see if we can remove it. I'm having a hard time removing it. Let's see. Okay. I'm not sure how, how to remove this. Oh, you have two latches here that you need to press to remove this, to release this. Now I'll, I'll try to attach this with a robot upright. So I'll just slide this under. Okay, it slides easily. You don't need to flip the robot over, over to attach the mop. And to remove the mop, again, just press the two levers on the side here there are two levers on the side okay let's have a close look at the interface of this robot the first generation xiaomi only had two buttons located on the bottom part of the interface here but the second generation is located here on top of the laser guided sensor this is the laser guided sensor. This is the spot cleaning mode. When you press this button, it activates the spot cleaning mode. This is the power button. And this is the docking or docking button. When you press this, the robot goes back to the charging station to recharge. This is the power button. And it also activates the default cleaning mode. And this plastic here let me just zoom out this plastic here is what Sh Xiaomi calls Xiaomi calls this the moisture proof mat you will attach this on the charging charging dock here this is the charging dock again 
if you look underneath the charging dock it has this rubber strips here that that prevent it from slipping so let's put this down I just show you how how to use the this rub this anti-moisture mat so you, you put let's move this here and the mat goes here so this mat protects your floor floors from getting wet from the mop, mop attachment so this is a nice touch by Xiaomi I love that they included this it this is a big issue with the iLife robot vacuums especially the the first generation where water continues to drip when you don't use the robot this provides a layer of protection on your floors from the wet mop when the robot is charging so I'm checking this ch um, charging station if it's 120 or 220 volts it's actually auto volt so you can use this anywhere in the world 110 or 220 no problem you just need to buy an adapter for this if you don't have this kind of plug the Xiaomi robot vacuum also comes with an app with some cool new features I think you would like you can ask the robot to go to a specific part of a room just by tapping on the map Another feature that I think you will like is the zone cleaning feature. In this feature, you can ask the robot to clean a specific part of a room. As you can see here, I've set a small area for the robot to clean. If you have a big home and you only want to clean the living room, you can set the, you can set the area on the map, on the app, then press the clean button and the robot does the rest. In this demonstration, I've asked the robot to clean a small rectangular part in front of the charging station just to demonstrate how this feature works. The robot will go over the area twice and after it's done cleaning, it will go back to the charging station. Again, this is a really useful feature that I haven't seen in other um, top-of-the-line robots like the Nito or the Samsung and it also gives you real-time updates as you can see you'll see that the map updates in real time as the robot moves for the cleaning test I'll be using 52 grams of oats and powder for the cleaning test I'll keep it simple I did not put a chair in the middle I just wanted to test how this robot will clean the edges over there, there, and right here near the door. You'll notice that I've scattered some powder, oats, and dust here, and this big chunk of mess in the middle. This test, this um, part of the video will show you how this robot will navigate and how it cleans. Here's the result of the cleaning test. You can see that the robot did a pretty good job cleaning the middle part if you look closely here. This edge here is pretty much clean and this edge here, these are the trouble spots. This area near the door and this corner and Xiaomi typically has a difficult time reaching the edges so if there's a trouble spot with this new robot it would be cleaning the edges and let's see how much dirt it picked up okay I'll use the app to start and I'll just press this clean button here in the middle Starting the and the robot should start cleaning right now
you will notice that the app updates in real time as the robot cleans you'll see in the app here that you'll see the movement of the robot in this map and I'll focus back on the robot again I've updated the app to the latest version so this robot should go around the room twice and then clean the middle portions for those asking what's the latest version the latest uh, firmware would be 5.0 it's at version 5 right now so if you have it for those of you who have Xiaomi robots just update the app I'll make a, try to make a separate video to show you how to update the app. Okay, let's see how the, that robot does in between the chairs. It did well, it did not get stuck. So, I'll fast forward this video to save on time. Okay. okay, let's look at the bin right now and see how much dirt Xiaomi was able to pick up. Dustbin. You'll notice that Xiaomi always has a voice prompt when you do something with a robot. And the good thing is that it's in English. So the dustbin is out. Let's just open it and see. It's pretty full. Not really full, but almost halfway. And I'll just give you a close look at the bin. How it looks like. How much it was able to pick up the benchmark is 53 grams right now it has at 48 let's try to scrub off some more so it's 48 benchmark is 52 grams I'm sorry not 53 52 grams and okay Xiaomi was able to pick up roughly about 48 out of the 50 grams which is pretty pretty good considering that it missed the edges two spots I showed you earlier overall um, this robot has the same cleaning performance roughly the same cleaning performance as the first generation Xiaomi the biggest difference would be the app, the, the improvements found in the app and, and the filter here. The original Xiaomi did not have a washable filter. This comes with a washable filter. We just put this back in. Been installed. And it's smarter right now. The app is improved. I'll do a separate video for the app, the features, showing the features and everything what I like about the new app is that you can ask the robot to clean a specific area of the room without the need for a clean for up. a um, magnetic strip of tape to block it off if you want it to clean one spot it cleans that spot 
no problem using the app and that's it if you have any more questions about this robot or any suggestions about the videos that I'm making don't don't hesitate to comment down below and if you like this video please subscribe hit that subscribe button and I'll post the link to all the information that you need below this video so click on those links again see you in the next video